Welcome back to another Sebastian story. I'm here with my sweet boy. He's a Connie Corso Italiano, and we adopted him about a year and a half ago. He's got an injured paw that we've been working to rehabilitate so he can live with it as best as he can. And today our story is actually about uh, his sister, his cat sister, and what it's like having a Connie Corso in it and a cat all in the same house. And today's story is about how our sweet little cat, Vera, who is about 13 years old now, and we'd actually rescued her out of a pool in Southern California, uh, and what it's been like having her uh, adapting to such a horse of an animal in the house. And it's, it's definitely been an experience, and it was pretty troubling for her at first. Uh, she lost a lot of weight. She was having difficulties eating. She was very, very stressed out. It was a big mountain to climb because we wanted to make sure that our first love, Vera, was just as well taken care of and was not being replaced or anything like that. It's just we have we have the room and we have the heart and we want to add to our family, Vera. So we're going to uh, figure out how we can make this work. And Sebastian has learned very well that uh, she is loved and she is a part of our family and is not to be harmed. And although, of course, being still a big puppy, he wants to chase her and... Uh, uh, of course, she does not care for that, but at the same time, I think she's kind of adapted to uh, seeing it as a bit of a game, and she knows that he is not actively seeking to harm her in any way. He's just a big puppy that wants to play, and although she may not be too enthused by that, she does tolerate him uh, quite well now, actually, and I say tolerate because she definitely would prefer that he wasn't there, but she does appreciate his presence um, she likes him for who he is, at least, and they do have some good interactions, and they can be near each other, but there's also no denying that she really loves just getting those fast paws in there, so uh, I know that she's doing better with it, because she stopped using her claws. There's no longer a scratch on, her, on his nose every week. Um, just these little signs that she leaves for us. But again, it was very difficult in the beginning. Vera was, understandably so, kind of terrified with such a large animal in the house, and it caused her a lot of stress, and it really uh, we had to really step up our game to make sure that uh, she was feeling as good emotionally as she should be, um, and just need to understand that this is just another being in the house, and we're going to take care of him just as well as we take care of you, and you're never being replaced, and this will always be your home too. We just need to learn to share it. With her always having a nice high place to get to, uh, it was also a matter of making sure that every day we're seeking her out if she's uh, sleeping in a corner somewhere or whatever yeah. that may be, that we're always seeking her out and making sure that girl. she gets her love and her kisses in and everything. And it's like, we love you. We are not, this is your home still. We're just, we need to allow uh, the room and the expansion for some more, some more pappies and some more hearts that need to be saved. Um, and uh, we've gone through, uh, we, it was also unfortunate that when we brought him in at she was about 12 and uh, her teeth were starting to get to that age where she wasn't really liking dry kibble as much anymore that she needed kind of that more senior a little bit smaller a little bit softer uh, formulation so it was a bit difficult watching her lose so much weight so rapidly but we were able to stay on top of it and keep her healthy um, and now she's right back to where she should be and bouncing around and she definitely gets in plenty of exercises with all of her paws smacking him around but uh, uh, she's she's a cat <laughs> there's no denying that uh, but she is still very loving and knows that she is loved so she's in a very good healthy place now our sweet little Vera and of course you know anytime I can get uh, aside from the all the times that we seek Vera out individually to just check on her and make sure she's happy napping in whichever cat tree she's in at that moment. Um, we do still get plenty of the, uh, if I'm sitting at my desk and she'll come up and I'll give her some kisses and then she'll kiss my forehead and we'll go back and forth and uh, sometimes she'll sit in my lap, sometimes she'll go and do her own thing, but uh, the important thing is that she knows she's loved and this is still her family and her home and he's just another part of it now. Um, and I think she, uh, she's really come to enjoy and appreciate that. And I think she also, she was always very protective of her home. I've had, uh, uh, delivery people. She goes flat ear at the front door and this low, creepy growl, like a Harley Davidson or something. Uh, poor guy was at the bottom of the stairs, like, Hey, I don't want to cause any problems. Just wanted to you know, drop this off to you. <laughs> Uh, so I think she's a little bit happy now that she knows that he's he's taken on that role as our family protector and she can uh, 
she can start to enjoy her retirement a little bit more and just go into uh, enjoying being a loved animal that uh, is getting to live out her life just like he is and all the others in the future. Um, right? You good boy. You love your sister. You do, right? You good boy? Oh, my sweet pappy. I love you too, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. We're going to take care of everybody. Yeah, that's how this goes. we got to give everybody love and give everybody a home. And it'll all work out great, right? Yeah. And it's been nice. We haven't had uh, a lot of big blow-ups or anything. Of course, you know, every once in a while we hear some uh, uh, slightly disturbing sounds coming from another room. And uh, usually just, children, you got to be nice to each other. And things like that are our response. But we've never had to fear for anyone's safety and um again thankfully she's really kind of come around to him and although she does like to smack him she's she's not using her claws anymore so uh i think it's more just a game for her and just to always reinstate that she's the boss not him and uh i think as long as she's able to uh have her her little hierarchy in place i think she'll be just as happy as always and we'll get a good long life out of her um just as we would have without taking the pappy in, but uh, we'll get some more pappies and she'll be able to smack all of them into shape and <laughs> be able to establish her dominance with everyone. And it'll be a good, uh, it'll be a good long life for everybody and a good cohesive. Everybody's taking care of everybody, right? Sweet pappy. And we hope every, everybody had a great Thanksgiving last week. Sorry we did not get our story up for that. Uh, poor Sebastian. Uh, it was, it was funny. I kept trying to uh, get this shot and uh, I'd get an intro in, and he would then just kind of drift off into sleep in the side of the truck here, and uh, it was kind of like, hey, buddy, this is not going to make a really exciting story. We should kind of work on this, but uh, they had their great Thanksgiving, both Sebastian and Vera, uh, baked a, uh, a whole chicken for them, and a little bit of rice and carrots and, you know, things that are otherwise in their part of their dry kibble formula, and um, that's good stuff, I know. I know. So we got a bunch of meals out of that for both of them, and they get to share it. Uh, so that was kind of the nice thing. But it's fun with Sebastian because uh, he, he knows when it's for him. He knows it's his. And, you know, I was braising pork for the rest of the family, but uh, there was a whole chicken in there just for him. And he was keeping it. He was laying in front of the oven. He was guarding it. He was he was like, nope, this is mine. i got to protect my foods. He wasn't quite sure what we were being thankful for, but I know what he's thankful for and having a family, and we're definitely thankful for him. He's been the greatest addition we could have ever hoped for, and uh, we love him dearly. He's just a sweet pappy. As always, thank you so very much for watching. We're having a great time telling these stories, and we'll be back again soon with more. Thanks again.